Let's talk about hard and soft golf balls. A common question we get asked here at the golf shop online. What difference really does a hard or a soft golf ball make? Now, when it comes to golf ball and hard or soft, you need to think of feel. Some people like the feel of a soft ball and some people like the feel of a hard ball. General rule of thumb is that in a premium ball, you can get a softer feeling and a harder feeling and now even a medium feeling version of that same ball. When you go down nearer the budget end, you tend to, you can get softer feelings and harder feelings as well. But if you go really down at the budget end, you'll generally get a harder feeling golf ball. But with golf balls nowadays, they can feel hard and soft and be at the premium level and down at the budget level and in the middle ground. So what that means to you as a consumer or a golfer out there is you can use your preference of choice of feel when it comes to a golf ball for what you prefer. So I'm hitting a driver here, hard or soft, it generally doesn't make much of a difference because the driver sound overrides every other sound. It's the crack of the driver that you hear when you go for harder and softer within reason. But if I come down to my 58 degree wedge here and then you move that into putting as well, this is where I might want to feel a certain sound with the ball. Now don't relate it to stopping ability. It's something that commonly thought of with golf balls. It's not true. You can have the harder feeling golf balls that get the same spin as softer feeling golf balls. For me, I think the better way of looking at your golf balls that might apply for you is the price point. If you're gonna go premium golf balls, you are gonna get a better performing golf ball than if you come down in the price range. But obviously price range is a great buying attribute to how you choose your golf balls as well, because we all lose them, don't we? So using a golf ball that feels and sounds how you want it at any price point, you've got those options. I think the biggest mistakes are feeling that a soft ball spins more. It's not really the case anymore. What it will do is it will feel very different off the face and you'll dial into your feels. And if you take that to a putter as well, some people with a putter want a certain clicky sound or a softer sound. Now, if you're someone watching this video and none of this makes any difference to you, like you don't care what it sounds like, you can't even feel that they're different, then if you can afford it, use the premium balls. They do perform better over drivers, irons, to wedges and putting. If it's about price point, then just go with whatever price point you want and try and work out what feel and sound you need in time. And if you don't, don't worry about it, go out there and have a lot of fun. Rule of thumb, hard and soft doesn't make the bigger difference that it used to, because nowadays they've making golf balls to suit every golfers, because really, why not sell to all the market? If you've got a brand of golf ball that people love, but it sounds wrong, they're good enough nowadays to make it sound how a majority of people will want it to sound. Hope that helps.